At the height of the subprime boom, perhaps nobody gave up more risky loans than Countrywide Financial. As America's number one home loan lender. But while the government debated how to regulate the mortgage industry, Countrywide pursued a shrewd strategy, attempt to curry favor among influential people by offering them sweetheart loans. Special terms included knocking a full point or 1% off a loan. On a $2 million VIP mortgage, that's a perk worth $20,000. And that was the whole idea. It wasn't just to give them a good deal. It was to make sure they knew, or at least they believed, that they were getting a special deal. Anthony Salerno represents former Countrywide executive Bob Feinberg. He worked in the VIP section that offered preferential treatment to so-called friends of Angelo, customers referred personally by CEO Angelo Mazzillo. That includes Senators Kent Conrad and Chris Dodd, who just happens to head the committee that oversees the mortgage industry. They each received at least two VIP loans and are subject of a Senate ethics investigation. They declined our interview request but have denied wrongdoing in other interviews. I did absolutely nothing unethical here. No special deals. No one ever offered one. But CBS News has learned that Countrywide's VIP program went far beyond two senators. VIP mortgages were given to President Clinton's former housing secretary, Henry Cisneros, and President Bush's housing secretary, Alfonso Jackson. Jackson's daughter even got VIP loan status when an internal Countrywide email noted her father is expected to be confirmed as secretary of HUD. Also on the list, Franklin Raines, then CEO of Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae bought billions in toxic countrywide loans that defaulted at taxpayer expense. And former Fannie Mae CEO James Johnson, one-time advisor to President Obama. Some of the most flagrant connections were with the House Financial Services Committee, which had oversight authority over Countrywide. Clinton Jones, a chief counsel for the committee, got VIP treatment, and internal Countrywide emails leave no doubt as to why. Jones is an advisor to ranking Republican members of Congress, responsible for legislation of interest to the industry and of importance to Countrywide. A committee aide asked Countrywide to help his sister and brother-in-law after they got turned down for refinancing. Countrywide obliged, calling the staffer an aide to a senior member of the House Financial Services Committee, a big supporter of Countrywide's, and very important to us. When Congressman Darrell Issa is spearheading a House investigation. This is a pretty vast attempt to influence government that did not benefit the American people in this meltdown of the economy around the world. Democrats are blocking a Republican effort to subpoena countrywide documents. Some of the people named in this report have said they didn't know they were getting preferential treatment. For now, it's unclear whether there was anything illegal and whether countrywide was able to fend off regulations by winning favor with the right people. Cheryl Ackeson, CBS News, Washington.